Hi everyone, welcome back to another Fabric Friday. I've got mum here, here again. I am again. <laughs> <laughs> I've made her come on screen today. She's actually been very busy in her sewing room. Do you want to talk about what you've been making? Yes, I've made the um, Pattern Emporium, the, the cuffed tea. Carefree, Carefree cuff tea. Carefree cuff tea, yeah. And that's that really nice stuff, um, peony, I think peony and blush fabric. Yes. How did you find sewing that yeah, up? Yeah, no, it was lovely to sew up, yes. Really nice quality. Really Actually, I've got to admit, I made one exactly the same <laughs> <laughs> because we couldn't resist. We and we had a it. little bit of material left over. I think, oh, I'll make one too. <laughs> yeah, and that took about 1.2 yeah, metres. Or just, I think even a metre you'd get this top out yeah, of. Yeah, um, because it's quite quite roomy, isn't it? It's, and that's it's a 14. Size. Isn't that a 14? Was yeah, that? I reckon we could have easily gone into a 12. Yes, um, I think so. It's got that shirt tail hem on it too, which is um, makes it quite oversized. But I like it for wearing with jeans, so... You're probably going to see us both wearing one of these. <laughs> Not at the same time. I'll so, ring up and say, what are you wearing today? <laughs> we don't want to go in public being like too much twitting, no. but anyway. Um, I'm wearing the um, beautiful Pattern Scout uh, poppy blouse. Now, this was made in that really nice fabric from the September box, yes. The Secret Garden. We had so many people asking about this fabric. And, no, we didn't have any more. Usually with the boxes, we only have just that amount for the boxes. So... Uh, we don't carry excess stock for uh, selling for after boxes are done because we like to keep it yeah. exclusive because yeah, people really true. like that. Um, so I know even for last month's box at Australiana Fabric, we didn't have any more of that. And so many people ask me, I know. can you get any more? No, I couldn't, but I, I believe on the internet people have found it. Um, but, yeah, personally, no, I did actually get printed at that exact amount for the boxes. So we like to kind of keep the boxes a bit special. Sometimes I'll do an, like mm. an order a lot, but that has only happened like once or twice in the past. But, yeah, this um, this fabric was really, really pretty. But one of my favourite patterns of the year, this yes. one, Poppy. Beautiful. So we've got heaps of new stuff in store. Mm. I've got lots of brand-new fabrics from Nerida Hansen, uh, a lot of the beautiful Australian artists that have um, been commissioned by her to get their art onto textiles and get printed up, and she does carry a lot of that range. So I've been very lucky to source a lot of this uh, I think back in about June. I actually ordered a lot of this thinking it would be beautiful for spring, mm. summer. And it's our first lot of linen yes. cottons. We've had linen viscose in the past, but this is a really nice lightweight linen cotton. So the first one I want to talk about mm. is a really pretty bright abstract colour. Look how bright that is. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is by Miss Moresby. Now, Miss Moresby is an artist called Sarah Rowe who does live in Melbourne, but she grew up in Moresby Street in Adelaide. She takes visions of her art from her travels around the world. She likes um, drawing on like festive experiences and street parades and that kind of thing. This is called Parade on Red. I'm going to hold it up. It's quite wow. heavy. Now, this linen, oh, sorry, getting into my mum's face. Yeah. <laughs> this linen cotton <clears throat> is not a stiff linen cotton. No, it's it feels so beautiful and soft. soft. Uh, I had a lovely, um, I think it was Margie that emailed me and asked me about what I would make with it. And I gave her a whole list of things that I would make with um, with this linen cotton blend because it's got drape in it. Normally yes. with a linen, you don't get that kind of drape. I'll show you up close. And it's got a real softness to it. So um, the all the fabric listed on the website has got the GSM listed on there. Mm -hmm. They're really wide as well, but what a stunning summer frock that would make. It would make a beautiful blouse, a beautiful uh, maybe closet cord cello top. Um, I love the dovetail top from Sewing Revival as well. I think it would look beautiful. But the colour in that, that really vivid pink and red mm. together, I'm going to hold it right up close to the camera so you can see. And it's not thin either, is it? No, it's beautiful. Be lovely. So in the quality, um, they're all Eco Tech certified, and you'll see that the artist's name is printed, the Miss Moresby um, range. So really, really lovely. It's one I couldn't resist when I was choosing mm. the prints. Um, I had a really hard time deciding. And I always like to get mum's opinion. Mm. <laughs> There's a couple in <laughs> coming up in a minute, I think, that are probably more mum's cup of tea, but this is really definitely my um bright, vivid, uh, fun kind of print. Now, Sarah is also inspired by the artist Matisse and the Favs, and she likes drawing on things like um, a tapestry, kind of a modern take on a tapestry print. Mm. So you can see yeah, I can the see inspiration that, that comes through, doesn't it? Yes. It looks yeah. like a, um, oh, 
it's like the hand stitching through it. You can see all the little details, but that is the Parade on Red. Now we have sold quite a bit of these already and they are not going to last very long. Um, that's the thing I think Merida Hanson does uh, sell out of her stock pretty much as soon as she lists it. So I knew that when I got some of this, it was not going to last long in store. So if you have your eye on any of this, I highly suggest grabbing some of it while you can because I don't know. Uh, when I can get any more of it. Um, she is going to be starting printing on shore here in Australia next year. Um, so this is probably the last of this year's stock we'll be able to get. So definitely um, in short supply, but really pretty. This one is by Marnie Stewart. It's called After the Fire. Now Marnie is an artist and a surface pattern designer. She's also a researcher and she draws on her love of native botanicals. You can see in this the stunning native inspired print. Uh, it's so leafy and lush looking and I really love that pop of the deep um, dark mm. background. I think it's black from the look of it, yes. Sometimes yeah. it's hard to tell between the yeah, ink, navy, and black. Look at that. I'm pretty sure it is black, yes. That emerald green and the pink really pops, but I love the blue and green together. I just think that's a stunning print. Um, I think that would be gorgeous in some kind of shirt dress, but I can also see it uh, with a pair of, like, black uh, linen wide leg pants. So the make, vacation oh, okay. like pants. With a little croppy kind of top, I think this would be really yeah. pretty in. Or even a nice strappy dress. They've also got, uh, look, Patton Emporium got heaps of dresses that would look great with that. But I am even thinking of that new So House 7 dress. Is it the Savi dress? Um, if you want to have a pattern that's not broken up, like a long line dress, I think that would be really, really pretty. Mm. So I'll show you up close. It's the Marnie Stewart After the Fire. So really, really pretty, bright and vivid to all of you guys that like a dark background. This one has been so popular already. I've sold lots of it already, so I don't know how long it's will last. This is the Learning on Country, beautiful Aboriginal print by Holly Sanders, who's a proud Bundjalung woman. She lives in the northern coast of New South Wales. Mm. So she's a contemporary artist and a teacher, and she likes to tell stories throughout her art and her prints. And, of course, this is just the most divine colourway. When I saw it, I, I think she has got another colourway in it more than earthy tone as well. But the pink and that pastel blue... It's such a pretty colour combination. That one I just thought I have never seen anything quite like uh, that because I wouldn't even call it pastel, would you? It's more of a – it's a pastel tone but a really yes. vivid pastel um, and it's got some pretty tones. Beautiful. How beautiful is that? What would you make with that, do you think? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone's making a dress. A lady ordered about five okay. metres last night and I'm thinking it would make an amazing dress. Actually, what I'm thinking is one of the new patterns we've just got in. New to the shop, we've got paper patterns and, of course, we've got the Megan Nielsen range. See this dress here? That's oh, in the right? earthy tone. It's the new Protea capsule wardrobe. The amazing thing about this pattern is you get five pieces, so there's five different looks. Well, there's actually a lot more than five different looks, but five different individual pieces or the dress itself. But imagine that in that dress. You can do that beautiful tiered gathered bottom as well mm. and yeah the protea is her newest pattern so i think that would be an amazing combination but uh, i love the fact that with a linen cotton like this you can easily make a dress uh, from it without having it too bulky because yeah. linen sometimes with linen it can get quite structured and it's very hard to get that amount of drape with that co cotton blend it gives it a nice softness. So even a lovely skirt too. I reckon yeah. a skirt, yeah, with like yeah. a plain white t-shirt or a yes. singlet top, maybe if we ever get any warm weather. Yeah. To wear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold here still. But yeah, that that colour combination is just beautiful. And yeah, I just listed these and I've um, put a newsletter out to show you all already. But a lot of people do like to see them, the movement in real life and the scale um, when mum and I show them. So mm. I'm just um, especially doing that for you guys to have a bit of a look today. This is a stunning print. Now, this is one of the first ones I chose because not only do we love a budgie, do we? Well, I, I breed budgies at the moment. I've got four little babies. <laughs> I should put some <laughs> video two, footage of you so two, you guys can see. Two weeks old and they're just starting to get their pin feathers. So. Oh, they're, well, I can't yeah. have birds at home because my cats have just um, <laughs> gobbled them all up. But I love coming here to get my budgie fixed. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a couple of cats and when they passed away, I had a big cat cage outside and I thought, well, 
what am I going to do with that? I oh, know, I'll get a few budgies and put it So she's got a massive <laughs> aviary out there now. So it really, it's great. It's a really good hobby. Actually, my cousin breeds some um, yes. budgies as well, and they've got the rainbow colour ones. Which... Yes, I've got a rainbow colour as well, so I'm trying to get those. So. I'm, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a look at the footage yeah. of her, her budgies. Mum loves her budgies. <laughs> um, but I'm going to turn this around the other way so you can see because the print is directional in this. Right. This is the vintage budgies in orchid it's a beautiful lilac-y mauve color and it has really mm. pretty budgies and perfume bottles and flowers and it's the most feminine beautiful fabric i've ever seen it's <laughs> from the label the scenic root now the scenic root is victoria mccrane and she is an illustrator photographer and she loves traveling and she likes enjoying the experience of traveling just as much as she does uh, doing the artwork she believes in choosing the path less travelled and enjoying the scenery just as much as getting to the destination. So on her travels, she's taken a lot of um, inspiration from uh, from animals and from bird life and from flora, and she I think she's pretty obsessed with anything Australian, I'm looking mm. as you'll see. Um, but that, I just cannot believe how beautiful that is. And I, I'm thinking of stealing a bit of this for myself because oh. it's my favourite. <laughs> I want to make that new... Um, Sewing Revival dovetail dress, and I think it would be really pretty, mm. the sleeveless dress. Um, but, yeah, I can really see that. And I actually went on and bought myself some budgie earrings. I'm doing that whole uh, cat day night thing with the, <laughs> with the, with the bird earrings. Um, it's the Erst Wilder website. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with their jewellery, but they have beautiful brooches and wonderful enamel earrings, and they've got budgie ones. So I'm going to be definitely rocking this dress with the budgie earrings um, but yeah, I just think it's amazing. So I love, <laughs> I love those little budgies throughout there. So that one is definitely a keeper for me. The colours of the budgies, right? Too, because I've got a couple like that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. well spotted. They look so real and so. The wild budgies are very green. Yeah. Exactly. No, they're really, really pretty. I love the way she's combined it with the yeah. few models too. So beautiful. That one's really pretty. Now we're back here with another scenic root fabric. Of course, this is the wildflower mm. vases and clay. It's got stunning little birds, butterflies, bees. Uh, little wild finches and king parrots. I'm not really sure if it, what kind of parrot that is, but mm -hmm. uh, if you could tell me, let me know. But look at the amazing colour in that, that soft kind of cream and peachy tone with that terracotta. Um, I think that would be amazing in this pattern uh, that's new in the store, of course, the Megan Nelson patterns. I like the Darling Rangers dress, but in the loose fit version with a button front. I think that would look stunning. You can see with this too, you get many options for mm. the dress and the top. That's been a really Great popular patterns, one. Yeah. That one is an Aussie designer, Megan, Megan Nilsson. She's from Western Australia. There is an extended size range on this pattern. I can't get them in printed patterns. I'm not sure whether they're going to be made, but you can get the PDF version in the 14 mm. to 30 range, I'm pretty sure. Um, but this range goes up to size 20. Um, that is one thing I'm finding. I want to have inclusive um, size ranges in store, but sometimes it's hard to get paper patterns on that extended range. Mm -hmm. But I think that loose dress would be just gorgeous in this really pretty colour palette. Yes. Don't yeah, you think? Yeah, that's my colour. That definitely is your colour. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, really Soft. pretty. But um, it has got a directional print. Um, that's the only thing you have to watch when, you, when yeah. you're sewing with something like this. You make sure that your, your directions are all running the right way. Um, but it is well worth it to get something with a beautiful impact in a print like that. I know when I first started sewing, I did make it top and uh, the birds were upside down. <laughs> Actually, I think, yeah, that happened to, yeah, that happened to Charlotte. Oh, My so... daughter Charlotte, she, when she was 16, I helped her sew. And, you know, I didn't even think about it, but she had, little, she had birds as well they're upside yes. down. Oh, gosh. We all remember learning like that. And you don't mistake. make the mistake again. Exactly. That's how you learn. You remember yeah. the mistakes you've made and you, and you, and you learn that way. Oh. The next ones we have are both the same print, you know, both in different colourways. Now, this is the beautiful afternoon tea print. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I could not decide between the two colourways, so I got both. And I think right. that you are all loving it by the look of the orders I'm getting for this one. Look at the little uh, rosellas on that. Absolutely beautiful, and the cake and cups of tea in that beautiful blue and white print of the teapots. I think this is an absolute stunner. It's so fresh and vibrant. I think even a skirt with a little white linen top would be amazing in that. Um, they've all got that beautiful drape. Mm. Even this um, Megan Nielsen floret 
dress pattern. This is a great one because it's actually knit or woven. I like the woven version with that um, asymmetric hem at the front. What do you think about that? Mm, different, isn't it? It's really yeah. nice with that angular front. If you wanted to keep that print without yes. breaking it up, you could use that angled front uh, dress. But all the different options there and also, as I say, can make it knit or in woven. Yes. I love a good pattern like that. That one I just think is so pretty. If you had even a red button on it, a little pop of red, um, but I'll hold it up once more so you can no. see the print. Really pretty, nice, cool looking print for spring and summer. But yeah, who could resist when you have strawberries and uh, a bit of cake afternoon tea? <laughs> I think she definitely does a wonderful <laughs> job bringing her illustrations to life on fabric. This is the last one, same one as the print before, but this is the pink colorway. Um, look, I couldn't decide between these two, <laughs> and I think a lot of you are actually finding that you're having the same trouble. Some people have been buying both colorways. That is the beautiful pink gingham background and that as well looks really pretty with the red and the blue so what do you what's your favorite one out of the blue and the oh let me see i like the lilac with the budgie oh, the budgie yes yeah, that's, that's <laughs> no, i like them all <laughs> i think this would be really pretty with a long line skirt actually other pattern that we have in store this week that i love is the cashmere at holly oak dress and skirt now i can see that in a skirt um, with a white little singlety top or even yes. in that dress. So if you've got a long line dress that has got that nice shaping, I think that would definitely be stunning. And that one is the 12 to 32 range. I couldn't get that in a smaller size range, but I've actually got myself one in the other size range printed up because I want to make that and show you guys how it comes up. We've also got the Megan Nielsen Durban jumpsuit. It's been really popular as well. And I know that um, this has been another popular Megan Nielsen Matilda pattern. Of course, it's one of her earlier patterns and a lot of people really love that. Um, the other patterns I have got, especially in for So Wrapped, one is the cashmere red. I'm in the middle of cutting mine out right now. That's the beautiful wrap front dress. Mm. That is the uh, zero to 16. And the great thing about cashmere red patterns, they come in different cup sizes. So they'll go up to a C to H cup with that range. Mm -hmm. This range is the 12 to 32 C to H as well. And if you're wanting a knit wrap dress, we've also got the Appleton dress. So that's the zero to 16 and the 12 to 32 range as well. So slowly getting some paper patterns in store for the people that have um, requested it. I've got more coming um, in the next week or so as well. But I just thought I wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the beautiful Near the Hanson fabrics just because they're so popular. Yep. And I'm worried that if I don't show them to you guys, you're going to miss out on seeing them. They'll be all gone. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have to steal some for myself, I think. You also have candles now. We do. We've got a new sewers collection of candles. There's the dark collection, with, uh, which is the Couture Companion. You've got Couture Ooh. Companion, Sassy, Seamstress and Textile Tamer. And the other set is the Mindful Maker set, which is the, um, we've got Mindful Maker, Serene Sewister, and Creative Calm. So the white pack is more fresh mm, and it's vibrant. Not beautiful. The couture pack is more rich and intense, but I'm going to run you through this sense. Um, we've got Clementine Mimosa, we've got Bamboo and White Lily, and we've got the Australian Botanicals in that um, Mindful Maker set. And Make a this, great gift for someone. Oh, it would be too. amazing gift. If you've got a sewist or even for yourself, um, that you want to spoil and have these on the sewing table because I love a candle. I'm obsessed mm. with actually half of my, I think my um, daughter Phoebe, she's got about a million candles in her room. <laughs> um, we love um, having a candle on the sewing desk to sort of create the ambiance and the mood and it does help you get into the zone sometimes. Yes, yes. <laughs> that one there is the Kakadu Plum. We've got the Powder Puff, um, which is like a candy scent, and that one is the gorgeous um, Japanese honeysuckle. So they are listed on the website as well. I've already sold a few packs of these. I think people are starting to get um, a little bit inspired for some Christmas gifting yeah. or maybe just spoiling yourself if you're like me. I buy a candle every so often just yeah, to spoil myself. Why not? <laughs> why not? Thanks for watching today. I've got more Bye. episodes coming for the um, wrapped, so wrapped episodes, which we're getting inspo. Um, we're making, in the middle of making some more wrapped dresses. So I'd love to see your wrapped dresses over on Instagram. If you haven't shared it, use the hashtag so wrapped and um, make sure you tag Gabrielle and myself. Mm, and Great uh, yeah. prizes too. It's amazing prizes. So if you haven't seen those prizes, head on over to Instagram to check out the amazing prize draw. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch up with you all very shortly for another episode. Take care. Bye for now. Bye for now.